feel the same way, baby. No. <laughs> was able to drop Trinity and Wiley. And Wiley ain't but 45 minutes to an hour. We dropped her off. And by the time we turned the corner to the house, she called. <laughs> Talking about she needed money. Like, really? And I said, you ain't, you ain't been by yourself a whole hour yet. But I thank God for the opportunity. For those who are going to college, for those who are going to school, period. For those who have a new job, whatever it is, ask that you would come to the altar right now. For the teachers, for the bus drivers, for all those, we want to pray a special prayer. Because I need to let you know something. That these, for the students, are the best times of your life. You want to be grown? Let me tell you something. Being grown ain't no joke. I wish I had a witness in the house. If I could go back to my mama's house now, I'd preach my closing sermon. And did take my clothes, yes. Go back to my mama's house. Is that Sydney? Is that Sydney? Hey, baby. Teachers, will you come? Matter of fact, parents, will you come? Because you're going to have to understand something. Just want to take this time. Amen. Look at our youth, y'all. Amen. say some things you may not agree with but to be honest with you really don't care because we've got the school thing messed up parents not in every situation is that teacher picking on your child If you know your child is something else on. <laughs> Point him out already. Don't let that joker fool you because he ain't that black suit and that gray bow tie. This ain't tough, ain't it? <laughs> How do you, bro? 16? We already know what six is about, huh? Amen. <laughs> if mama pointed out already. If a girl ain't in the page of the books, he ain't paying no attention. <laughs> when you go to your teachers, Go to them with respect. I declare to you, and listen to me, baby. They not getting paid enough for what they do. Y'all hear me? It's amazing how a coach can teach a player and that player go on to make millions and millions of dollars and the one that taught him is still struggling. Think about it. Teaching is a sacrifice. You, first of all, you got to love kids. You got to have a heart for it. So parents, as you go, go with the mind frame to help. Help the teacher teach your children. Students, as you go, go with the mind frame to learn. The 
me tell you something. I work with many people who have, for some reason, quit school. And they wish they hadn't done it. I told one gentleman, he, he left Grambling. And he was out there in that heat with us. I told him, it ain't gonna be long, you're gonna go back to school. I ain't going back to school. That boy lasted in that heat for about a month. Like, where is it? He went back to school. Because being grown ain't no joke. Babies, I love y'all. But can I tell you something? Y'all ain't grown. You're not grown in, in your mama's eyes. You're not grown in your daddy's eyes. You're not there to teach. You're there to be taught. What you do now reflects on your life. You hear me? You got plenty of time to play. You got plenty of time to play. But these are the days that mold you and make you. Keep God first. Your parents have are doing the best they can. So that attitude, I can already tell you, some of y'all got attitude. But you know, before you got your attitude, we already had an attitude. Every time we got to go in our wallet and get something for you, we got an attitude. Every time we got to give for you and we don't have nothing, we got an attitude. So the last thing we need, oh, I'm sorry. Wusa. Last thing we need is for y'all to have an attitude when we trying to help y'all. Most of you are blessed, more blessed than we ever were. How many of y'all got phones? phone was on the wall. Your baby got a phone. Amen. She got the Lord have mercy. Can she spell phone is the question. She can't spell it, but she got one. You know how to work it better than you and me? What? Internet was not around at our time. We had Encyclopedia Britannica when a man would come knock on the door and mama couldn't pay for all of them, so she had to get A through, through K first. And then he'd come back around and give us the other one. Y'all know about that. <laughs> couldn't get them all at one time. Know how blessed you are. How many of y'all drive in the school? Hey man, don't be shy. Put your hand out there, you drive. You know how blessed you are? And for those of you who are driving, be careful who you let in your car. Be careful that. Because some people will only be your friend because you have a vehicle. And to be honest, you got some backdoor haters that don't mind leaving stuff in your car. They don't let nobody leave nothing in your car. Let me leave my bag, baby. You better take that bag with you or you're going to find it on the side of the road. Because you never know what people have. We love you. You are, you are not our feature. You are our present. As I, as I look at you, I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Remember you two, when I first got here, were just so little. Now I look at everybody. And Sydney, if I hadn't looked at your face closely, I never would have known who you were. To the state champ, I want to, what, what's, what, what's your junior? All right, I want a two-peat, I want a three-peat. All right, I want you to when everybody walk in the door, they say, when you walk in the door, they want to take on Chicago Bulls. 
Now is your time to do your best. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with blue collar work. But whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Don't take nothing lightly. To the teachers, thank you. Thank you for investing in our children. Thank you for caring for our children. Life it will never be how you think it's gonna be. Make you laugh. Trinity was in her dorm and she called me. She called her mama, rather, she don't call me. She said, over the intercom at seven o'clock, they woke her up. So they woke her up playing music. Mama asked her, she said, what you gonna do if they do that every, every day? Trinity said, I'm coming back home. <laughs> Told her, nah. She began to cry. When, when we left, be honest with you, we did not cry. We thought about it, but one was going to talk about the other. <laughs> we just got by ourselves and began to pray. Parents, pray for your children. Pray for your children. School is not like how it's not like it used to be. Grab them by the hand. There is a mental, what's the word I'm looking for, Sister Jan, mental loss in society. People cannot handle things this day and time. I'm going to pray for discernment on your life that you pick your friends wisely. That not every adult is mature. Father God, we thank you. We give praise to your holy name. As our children are heading back to classes. Father God, give them the discernment to choose their friends wisely. Father God, give them the desire to study. Allow them to retain it, Father God. Allow them to hold it in their hearts and minds. Father God, we pray for every student that you would protect them. Protect them against the evils of this world. Father God, we ask that you bless every parent right now, Father God. Supply them with what they need so they can supply their children, Father God. Let there not be a need. Let there never be a want. But help our children to appreciate and be thankful for everything that they have. Bless each teacher. Give them the patience to endure with this generation. Give them the patience to teach and to understand that it used to be them. Allow them to be so important in the student's life that when that student comes back, they can't help but say thank you. We thank you, Lord. We ask for a blessed school year. We ask you bless every bus driver, that you bless every custodian, that you bless every teacher, that you bless every professor, Father God, that you bless every cafeteria work, Father God. Bless as only you can. Thank you for these you have sent our way. As a church, allow us to, allow us to teach them your ways, to be patient with them, allow them to learn, to keep you first. Make a way out of nowhere for them. When it's all said and done, we say thank you in advance. Thank you in advance, Father God. Thank you for the honor roll. Thank you for the valedictorians. Thank you for the state championships. Thank you for the football championships. Thank you for the basketball. Thank you for everything. You have bestowed upon these children. Bless them, bless them. For our children who are in college, protect them, Father God. Allow them to be who you have called them to be. Move in their lives. These things.
things we ask. In the precious name of your son Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody tell me.